Cincinnati City Council members get their chance to question the city manager today about the proposed $1.29 billion operating budget. They are reviewing everything before voting on a final version in the coming weeks. This budget includes a new program, which the mayor hopes will help people with medical debt. Local 12's consumer reporter Cassie Arsenault explains why the program could be helpful for thousands of Cincinnatians, but could also still be on the chopping block. Cassie? Adam, so everything's on the table when it comes to cuts because by 2025, the city could be facing a $10 million deficit. With that said, this medical debt relief program would help relieve 30,000 people of medical debt, which they can't get out from under. Now, this is one program out of a few in the mayor's financial freedom mission. It would allocate a million and a half dollars to medical debt relief. Here in the tri-state, there's more medical debt per person than the average across the United States. Now, this is a program that has been implemented in other cities in Ohio as well. The specifics of how it will work have still not been presented to council, so some council members are awaiting more details to decide if they feel it's necessary for our area. In other cities, people had to be 400% under the poverty line to be eligible. A group of doctors showed up to council's finance committee meeting today to show their strong support. And when we treat patients, the goal is to get them home so they can continue to lead a healthy life. And with medical debt the way it currently is, it limits a lot of our patients who might make it home, might be trying to live the healthiest life from attending doctor's appointments, from getting their medications, from affording healthy food. But I do think it will pass. I mean, these financial tips are huge and they're really something to move us forward. You know, these new programs like the medical debt relief and a couple others that were listed, are those concerning for you? Should those programs be programs that are put on the back burner right now to see if some money or have that money available for you guys in the future? Um, we are still waiting to get that presentation to get more details. We have not been given many details right now, so I think once we have all of the information, we can better evaluate whether or not that is going to be a good return on investment. Now, there are two other pilot programs which the mayor would like to fund in this budget. One would provide $375,000 to set up a $50 bank account for every child in the Preschool Promise program so kids can learn to save early, and a pilot program to help low-income families have a little extra money every month. Adam? Cassie, thank you. City Council has until the end of June to consider recommendations for the fiscal year 2024 budget and pass a final version.